Good morning everyone. Welcome to my channel and I would like to tell you that the videos from now on are going to be a bit different. So what I've decided it based on an Instagram poll actually but anyways every new video I'm going to take a small topic based on 11th and 12th syllabus itself but I'm going to take that topic and discuss it completely which includes the neat portions too so that you understand the concept well. I want to make this channel more about learning, more about biology and a safe platform for everyone to discuss biology and science. So yeah, today's topic as we were doing excretion in the previous class, I would like to continue with the same but in a more detailed manner along with the neat portion too that is just the structure of a nephron. So let's get Okay, let's begin with what is a nephron? So you know what a cell is. Cell is the structural and functional unit of any organism. Similarly, nephron is the functional unit of a kidney. And each kidney consists of 1 million nephrons. Okay, now I have a cross section of the human kidney here. We've learned that these are medullary pyramids and this is the cortex region. So you see this small line here? That's actually pretty big for a nephron. Nephrons are almost invisible to the naked eye. But this is how a nephron basically is arranged in a kidney. So there are millions of it in the entire kidney if I complete the kidney. Okay? This which you see is the structure of a nephron. Alright, now let's see how blood is coming into the kidney and then moving through the nephron. So you know that there is a renal artery here which brings in blood to the kidney. from And it enters the kidney through the hilum somewhere over here. And then it moves into smaller smaller arteries and becomes one of the afferent arteriole. Okay, a renal artery which comes from the heart. It goes into the kidney and it breaks down into several arteries, small arteries, smaller, 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 and it becomes into the size of a capillary. And this here is what we call an efferent arteriole. So yeah, blood from renal artery to efferent arteriole. Okay, now this efferent arteriole carries the blood. This blood moves through the stuffed of capillaries this structure here is known as glomerulus. You've already learned about this in 10th grade. So this structure here is known as glomerulus. And this structure, the yellow one which is surrounding the glomerulus, is known as the Bowman's capsule. Now how does this glomerulus function? Blood comes from here. And now all, everything in the blood except for the proteins and a bit of plasma is sent, all the waste material is sent into the Bowman's capsule by filtration over here. And Bowman's capsule also undergoes another filtration known as ultrafiltration. We'll come to that when we're learning about urine formation. So anyways, you should just know that these are all the capillaries which form a tuft or a mutti ban jati hai and idhar se everything gets filtered out and moves to the Bauman's capsule. Bauman's capsule se this region which you see this entire region is known as PCT or proximal convoluted tubule. So this is the PCT it is a part of the extension of the Bowman's capsule. PCT se jakar, this entire length of this, this entire yellow length you're seeing is known as Henley's loop. So this entire length is the Henley's loop. This one is the descending Henley's loop and this one is the ascending Henley's loop. 
नाउ डिसेंडिंग क्योंकि इधर पी से वो नीचे आ रहा है यूरिन ओके तो यूरिन इज कमिंग फ्रॉम हियर डाउन फ्रॉम द पी सी टी इन टू द डिसेंडिंग पार्ट ऑफ हैंडलीज लूप एंड दिस वन इज द असेंडिंग पार्ट ऑफ हैंडलीज लूप एंड दिस पार्ट विच यू सी एट द एंड ऑफ हैंडलीज लूप विच हैज द सिमिलर स्ट्रक्चर एज पी सी टी इज डी सी टी और डिस्टल कॉन्वल्यूटेड ट्यूब्यूल डी सी टी से इट मूव्स इन टू द स्ट्रेट लाइन विच यूर सींग नोन एज कलेक्टिंग डक्ट नाउ दिस इज जस्ट नेमिंग द एंटायर थिंग नाउ यू नो दैट दिस एंटायर ब्लड हैज कम हेयर और ग्लोमरूलस से दिस ब्लड इज मूविंग आउट नाउ दिस इज नाउ प्योरिफाइड ब्लड क्योंकि सब जो भी इम्प्योरिटीज थे जो भी बॉडी से निकालना था दैट वेंट इन टू द बॉमेंस कैप्स्यूल राइट सो दिस प्योर ब्लड इट कम्स आउट फ्रॉम एफरेंट आर्टीरियोल दिस एफरेंट आर्टीरियोल नाउ फॉर्म्स दिस ऑल दिस काइंड ऑफ स्मॉल कैपिलरीज नोन एज वासा रेक्टा दिस इज वासा रेक्टा सो दिस वासा रेक्टा इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर रीअब्जॉर्बन ऑफ इम्पॉर्टेंट प्रॉबली ग्लूकोज अमाइनो एसिड्स डिफरेंट इलेक्ट्रोलाइट्स फ्रॉम the henle loop we learn about that again in urine formation and vasa recta again moves into the uh, renal vein so here you can see the cycle renal artery usse efferent arteriole fir purify ho jata hai it goes to efferent arteriole efferent arteriole se reabsorb hokar it moves into the renal vein okay we're done with that part for now the next thing we're seeing here इज द साइकिल ऑफ यूरिन आफ्टर इट मूव्स टू द कलेक्टिंग डक्ट देखो इधर कलेक्टिंग डक्ट में पहुँच गया अब कलेक्टिंग डक्ट से वेयर डज इट गो सो यू कैन इमेजिन द किडनी लाइक दिस एंड इमेजिन दीज आर कलेक्टिंग डक्ट्स सो मिलियंस ऑफ कलेक्टिंग डक्ट्स आर मीटिंग टूगेदर एंड दे फॉर्म अ डक्ट ऑफ बेलिनी ओके एंड डक्ट ऑफ बेलिनी इज ऑल्सो नोन एज पैपिलरी डक्ट ओके पैपिलरी डक्ट Now, papillary duct से it moves into the renal pelvis. We already learned that renal pelvis is where everything opens into. Okay, ये renal pelvis है समझो कि this is the kidney and this entire thing is the renal pelvis. Okay, renal pelvis से it moves into the ureter. So you can see here collecting duct, duct of Bellini, renal pelvis. Hilum, hilum is the region, this region here where ureter enters the kidney, and then it moves into the ureter. Now this is a part we already discussed, but I'm going to tell it to you in a little bit more detail. Nephron, nephron को हमने divide किया renal corpuscle and tubule में. Renal corpuscle includes this part, the malphigian, I mean the glomerulus, along with the a uh, bowman's capsule will form the renal corpuscle and now let's come to the uh, structure of it so glomerulus is just the arteries i mean the efferent arteriole which forms a small tuft bowman's capsule is made up of cells known as podocytes which are epithelial cells now why are the epithelial cells dekho bowman's capsule se kya hota hai there is a diffusion of Uh, blood through the surface and for diffusion we already have learned that epithelial cells are best because they're thin and diffusion can happen easily now let's go to malphigian tubule or just tubule tubule is formed of pct we already talked proximal convoluted tubule it has cuboidal epithelial cells which have microvilli on them to increase reabsorption रीअब्जॉर्बन मतलब समटाइम्स ब्लड में से ना वेन यूरिन इज फॉर्म्ड अ लॉट ऑफ ग्लूकोज एंड अमाइनो एसिड्स विच आर एसेंशियल फॉर द बॉडी आर ऑल्सो टेकन इन टू द यूरिन बट देव टू बी गिवन बैक टू द बॉडी बिकॉज दे आर नॉट वेस्ट प्रोडक्ट्स सो दीज माइक्रोविलाई दे हेल्प इन अब्जॉर्बन ऑफ दीज ग्लूकोज एंड अमाइनो एसिड्स बैक इन टू द ब्लड स्ट्रीम देन हैंडलीज लूप इट इज मेड अप ऑफ सिंपल स्क्वामस एपिथीलियम and dct is also made up of cube cuboidal epithelium and it's glandular now glandular q q hai it's because it secretes 
some potassium and hydrogen and ammonium ions into the urine which is formed and this is to maintain the osmolarity of the kidney. There are basically two kinds of nephrons. One is cortical and the other is juxtamedullary. Cortical forms most of the nephrons that is 80 to 85 percent and juxtamedullary only 15 to 20 percent. Cortical nephrons are also very small, juxtamedullary are large. Cortical nephrons, okay, chalo, agar mein idhar kidney draw karu, just imagine, ye cortex hai, ye medulla hai. Cortical nephrons will only be here. Juxtamedullary nephrons will be here. Okay, you get the difference. So, it has very little vasa recta, theek hai? Cortical nephrons mein, there is no scope of vasa recta because uh, when you see the renal artery entering, Vasa recta banane ka scope hi nahi hai isme. And juxta medullary has a long, deep vasa recta which moves over here. And it has a very short Henle's loop, cortical nephrons. Take a Henle's loop only extends up till the medulla. But in juxta medullary, what happens is this part, the renal corpuscle, is present in the cortex, but the entire tubule that is the entire henley's loop is present in the medulla so it has very long medulla i mean henley's loop as compared to cortical so we're done with that Let's also come to the last and final part of today's class that is juxta glomerular apparatus naam bada hai, but don't worry it's a very simple concept okay you know efferent arteriole chalo samjho ye efferent arteriole hai Afferent arteriole and you know distal convoluted tubule Mene drawing banane me in the previous drawing I have made it pretty far away but you know nephrons are really small so these these two structures that is afferent arteriole and distal convoluted tubule ye DCT are very close to each other okay and when they're so close to each other they have some cells which are attached to each other that is cells of afferent arteriole and cells of distal convoluted tubule. These cells are known as macula densa. This is because they are denser compared to other cells. Denser. Okay. And these cells are also known as Polkisan cells and these cells they produce a hormone which is renin. We will learn about the function of renin. It's very important to control the amount of urine that is being uh, excreted out of the body and the amount of water that is being excreted out of the body. So this is juxta glomerular apparatus and these are juxta glomerular cells also known as macula densa, macula densa or Polkinson cells. So yes, we're done with this too. Hey guys, hope you like the class and please let me know if you want the classes to be the same way or if you want me to focus on NCRT as usual. I would actually prefer this because I'm having a lot of fun. Anyways, let me know on in the comment section or you can DM me on Instagram. The handle is given in the description. So thank you so much for watching. Keep watching my videos and share it to the people who you think will like it. Thank you for watching, like, share and subscribe.